Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading today. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Capricorn, please let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Capricorn. As well, if you find any cards that resonate with you and you enjoy this reading, uh, or you just enjoy my vibe, Capricorn, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way, Capricorn. Um, as well, before we get into this weekly reading for you today, Capricorn, I just want to remind you to rely on your intuition, Capricorn, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Capricorn. Um... I believe when it comes to my weekly readings, tarot readings, they're just here to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, Capricorn, not mine, not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, Capricorn, let's just get into your weekly reading today, shall we? So I pulled, I already pulled some cards for you, rather, uh, Capricorn, just so I could get an idea of what's going on for you right now. And so you guys have the uh, King of Fire coming in for you, which funnily enough, I think every single uh, Earth sign got the King of Fire uh, coming in in some shape or form, or the King of Wands. Uh, King of Fire, King of Wands, Tomato, Tomato. Um, but this card says, focusing, focus, 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 communicate with a vision um, and be a leader and advice from someone creative. But this is more so in the sense for you a just a card of assertiveness assertiveness uh for you uh capricorn which yeah more so just me letting you know how i'm uh, seeing this card just because i can see your other cards um and then we have the magician card archangel Raziel. all the earth signs also had an archangel step up for them so if you are open to uh working with archangels or just spirits in general uh capricorn i was like i just like to give people the option and let them know uh, when being set forward. And so Archangel Raziel, look them up if you like to work with them. Uh, but this is the Magician card. And this card says you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Very interesting to have this card paired with the King of Fire. I'll explain why in a minute. And then you guys have the Queen of Air or Normal Tarot, Queen of Swords. Uh, this card says objective decision making, clearing away the all, clearing away all that no longer serves you anymore, uh, seeing the humor in a situation. So I'll get I'll explain now why I enjoy the magician card and the uh, king of fire together. Firstly, uh, in this reading for you, Capricorn, because in this setup here, this is like a, the king of fire is a card of um, being up for the task uh, sort of thing, uh, Capricorn, where it's just like you're getting a little bit more responsibility, essentially. And so whenever the King of Fire steps forward, you can kind of take this as a sign of where um, you're almost being called to take like a proactive role or taking an active role. Uh, taking action and doing something, uh, usually in terms of like a passion thing, taking a chance on something, right? And so when you have the magician card saying you are ready to do it, where it's kind of like spirits of trying to give you this reassurance of being like, no, you are completely up for the task. You're completely um, able to handle this situation, Capricorn. So don't be in your head about it whatsoever, right? And so with the Queen of Air, this is an interesting message because in this uh, Capricorn, this is where it's talking about clearing away all that no longer serves you anymore. So this is almost where some of you Capricorns, it's going to be a specific message, but it's like for some of you guys, you guys have to take this situation of like stepping out on your own. Maybe for some of you, very, again, very specific, but it's like for some of you Capricorns, maybe you were in a situation that you felt like you had to be in 
um, for whatever your reasons, whether it's like a financial reason, safety reasons, health reasons, right? You kind of felt it almost just feels like in some type of situation for a while, um, you felt like you kind of had to just deal with it or felt forced into managing the situation for a while because there was like something that you needed to like manage because of the situation. Like you felt, um, there's a word for it, like you felt reliant on it in some way, but you didn't enjoy it. Like it wasn't really, it was like a weird toxic dynamic, I feel, where it's just like you needed it, but at the same time, it was really kind of like heavy on you sort of thing. Um, that's just the impression that I'm getting, though. I could be completely uh, off the mark on that, I acknowledge. Um, but I also pulled the clarifiers for this uh, Capricorn. So we have, starting out, the Ten of Earth, or the Ten of Pentacles. A very happy family life, financial security, finding the magic in little things in life. We also have the Two of Air, being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Uh, a stalemate pretending there is not a problem and then for your last card three of air great sadness take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or other people so hmm, very interesting you get both the two and three of air or two and three of swords um paired with the ten of earth or the Ten of Pentacles, because it's an extremely stable card. And then like two cards where it's very much so like, a, you don't want to make like a hard decision on this situation. So as I was saying before, right? Let's say like you were in like this situation, right? Like, you know, let's just say that you were living at home or living with somebody and Capricorn, we'll just say like for simplicity's sake for the message, you're living at home with somebody, uh, with family, right? Because you were just trying to save up some money, especially during a time like this. It makes sense that you would want to do that to save some money, uh, Capricorn. Um, but once you started doing it, you kind of like... It was really nice, but the living situation in itself, like living around your family long enough, um, like, my gosh, you love them to death, but it's just like, girl, like, you kind of need your own space. And, you know, like, it, maybe for some of you guys, like this person you can only handle in some small doses, right? Um, because with this ton of earth here, it's, I do get the sense of like, it's like no hard feelings necessarily, um, but like you kind of have to move on. Like you kind of know it's for the best. We're just like, you know what? Yeah, maybe you're saving yourself a few hundred bucks a month um, living with your parents, right? But is the stress that they're putting you under really worth it, right? Because with the three of air here, I experience like there is sadness here. I don't feel like you're being fulfilled in this situation. Maybe providing some type of specific need for you. And here, here's the here's the thing, Capricorn. This is not me coming from a judgmental place because I get it, right? I don't know if I had that type of situation. I don't know what decision I would make either, right? Do you like, do you like? It's a hard decision to, when you think about it because it's like, do you make the decision that's, um do you just like deal with it for longer because it's just like physically for the best for you or do you like go away from it because it just i guess it's more so like how much do you uh prioritize your mental health because i do feel like this is affecting like your mental in so a lot in some way because i do with all these air cards because air refers to your mentality um in your mental space so but yeah, with this two of air, this is like a stalemate where it's just like a fork in the road where it's just like you don't really want to make that hard decision where it's just like, I really love them. Like in the situations, but the situation's good. But like, man, like, does it hurt? Does it just like suck going through? And so hmm. I wonder what the situation would pan out to be, right? I kind of want to just get some clarifying cards on just this situation, see if we can get any type of um, closure on this before we continue on uh, with your reading Capricorn. Let's see here. <laughs> this card was definitely trying to come out. So the extra cards that I got for you, Capricorn, we have the star card. We have the Temperance, or Hierophant, rather. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Now, uh, in this message, right, 
uh, we have the Eight of Cups here talking about like going to bigger and better waters. Again, we'll just continue on with this example. This would be like you living at your family's place, right? This water here. It's like, even, even if it's not like toxic per se, it just isn't fulfilling to you. It doesn't, it's not for you, uh, Capricorn. And so for you, you have to make the, the decision where it's just like, yeah, this is serving you, but you just feel called to just taking a chance and something's just telling you to uh, go to out there because there's just a, something out there more destined for you that's going to be more fulfilling for you. Even if you can't see it, you're getting that sense. Um, and then with the Hierophant, you know this because this is like you being in touch with your higher self more. I like this card a lot because this is what lets me know that you're really in tune with yourself. This lets me know that during this time, Capricorn, you are extremely self-aware. So for my Capricorns that have been like worried about um, if they're overthinking things or worried about if they are just processing things wrong, uh, this is a card more so I just want to say is like spirit brings this word as like a getting out of your head essentially Capricorn right so hopefully this helps for some of you guys in that way and then Capricorn you have the star card coming in for you now the star card is a big message in the sense of where it's just like it does feel like with this eight of cups this is the right decision to make um, so but I feel like it's kind of Maybe that sounds aggressive, Capricorn, right? I was going to say, I feel like it's kind of pointless for me to say this because if you're pretending there isn't a problem here and you kind of just keep your eyes closed to it, where it's just like, um, you're just like, ah, yeah, but I can manage it, uh, sort of thing, right? It's just something I want to just point out, Capricorn. It's just like, just because you can manage something doesn't mean you should have to deal with it, right? Just because it's, just because the stress that you can put yourself under is something that you can do, again, you shouldn't have to put yourself under it at some point you kind of have to be the one to call the shots of your own life and make things happen in a way that you want to set up in right it's like you know you see such a big future for yourself capricorn but if you just spend this time saving um saving this extra money at your house at living with your parents right nothing wrong with it right again like i don't want this coming off as me being like trying to sound condescending towards people who live with their parents honey if i could right now probably i would um just for the sake of saving money right but um in this sense where it's just like if you have like this big future planned out for yourself this big vision uh planned out for yourself capricorn um, sometimes you have to kind of take matters into your own hands and just do it. Um, you're not going to have some, like, the situations aren't going, like, the stars aren't always going to align so perfectly, uh, for you, Capricorn, that it's going to just be so easy. Sometimes the star, as I was saying before, like, it's one of those things where it's like, you want something so bad, but it also kind of seems impossible for you. But sometimes you have to take action on it. You have to be the one to find the string and bring that star closer to you. If you feel like it's unobtainable, you have to bring it to you. And so sometimes that means having to walk away from stuff, right? Sometimes it means having to make yourself a uh, Capricorn a little bit more uncomfortable, right? So good cards to have. Uh, I actually also want to get in a little bit on what my Capricorn should be worrying about. Well, not worrying about. That's so. That sounds so negative, right? Uh, what is it that my Capricorn should be looking out for this week? That's a better way of putting it because I like to view these readings as a way that you can prepare yourself. If something's, uh, you know, if you if the messages come in in a way where it's just like, oh, watch out for like some communication. It's easy for like misunderstandings to happen. Uh, with people around you it's good to know that right so let's look at your cards that we have here we have coming in the hermit card and then the ten of pentacles with the eight of swords so <laughs> this is going to be a call out message uh capricorn so if you get offended don't shoot the messenger right um with this hermit card this is a real heavy sense like really really pushing capricorn on like being to yourself right now of where it's just like 
you're not answering to anyone besides yourself. There's no one that you can go to about this. This is just like go to to get the answer to. This is just like the only way to get that answer is within yourself, right? And asking yourself because with the hermit card is that card of self-reflection, um, putting things in perspective, right? Um, and I do feel like you kind of have to think about your Ten of Pentacles. You have to think about the long run. You have to start thinking about your future. Um, Capricorn, what do you see for your future? How do you want your future to even look like, right? Do you truly see this being something that's like conducive to where, to where it is that you're trying to build up to as the Ten of Pentacles, right, Capricorn? And then you have the Eight of Swords coming in for you. Now, this Eight of Swords is the card of feeling trapped, like you feel like you're trapped in this situation, like you feel like your hands are your hands are tied and there's nothing that you can do and that you feel like you're helpless and the situation is that it's not the case whatsoever right the eight of pentacles uh, eight of swords is the representation of where it's just like it's just all an illusion it's something that you are telling yourself and not like you can kind of like make the decision to take off the blindfold and kind of like yeah th this is the thing it's like uh capricorn you're being presented with like this hard choice where it's just like do you choose to make yourself comfortable like maintain in this comfort or do you choose to make yourself uncomfortable and really take a chance on something essentially right because this is all this is panning out to be is just a situation of like getting out of your comfort zone capricorn and i mean for anyone that's not new to my channel like y'all know how i feel about getting out of your comfort zone i feel like it's essential so in this dynamic your hands are not tied in the situation you know you keep on getting this message where um you're wanting to be at an indecision and like not trying to just avoid it or hoping if you just like delay it long enough or if you just put it on the back burner a long enough long enough it'll figure itself out but that's that's just if only life was that easy right capricorn if only life was that easy but uh, yeah, we have these cards, good cards overall, right? I feel pretty good for you guys this week, Capricorn. I do want to just look at some Oracle cards for you guys, see what uh, what it is that you can be looking forward to, what is in the works, um, what blessings are in the works for you. <clears throat> well, I guess we don't know if we're going to be getting blessing cards from your Oracle animal, or more than your animal Oracle cards, but like your Oracle cards in general, you don't know if it's going to be talking about blessings, but... We can be hopeful, right? My optimistic nature always likes to think about it, like these messages in a blessing. Or I guess it really depends on your perspective, honey. The reading itself can come off as a blessing. <laughs> All right, so your Oracle cards. We have the shark card. Trust your instincts to discern the truth of a situation. Really pivotal card to have, especially with your queen of air, where you're seeing things for how they are and clearing it away, right? And then you have the polar bear standing up for yourself. Very interesting how these messages are. Um, and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. So speaking up for yourself, right? So if you're like living with your parents and you don't like how they treat you, you don't like how they speak to you because they're not speaking to you with respect or whatever it is that you're feeling, right? Here's the thing. Your feelings are valid. Capricorn, right? Y'all like how I have, are like, is, and using that example just to like, <laughs> this probably isn't even relating to anybody. Um, so it's just in this fashion of where it's just like very much so speak your, speak your peace. And if you have to be okay with walking away, be okay with upsetting people by speaking your truth because you see the truth. You're not going to be gaslit, Capricorn, right? You see the truth and tr you're trusting that truth. You're not allowing um, that truth to be disillusioned. Um, and then your moon oracle cards, the new moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. Now this card, I always like to say, it doesn't necessarily mean romantic cycle. I just like to see this as like a more intimate cycle beginning for you. Um, so like this could very much so be, be meaning like a new um, intimate, like platonic situation. This could easily be new moon in eclipse, expect a powerful change. This could easily be just like a new intimate cycle just with, you know, when you just moving out on your own, right? And that's just like, a, I mean, maybe that sounds strange and like a reach to a lot of people, but I really do see this sense of where it's just like this new cycle of where just like, even if, you, if this is a sense of just like 
going out on your own, you would be learning more about yourself and have, building a better relationship with yourself. Um, so that's how I like to see it as. I don't like to just see it as just like a romantic thing, but because you have to keep in mind when it comes to Oracle cards, like you can, there's not going to always just be a card for every situation. You kind of have to read in between the lines, right? That's what tarot is naturally. So, um, yeah, Capricorn, that is the card that I have for you, uh, for this weekly reading. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn. And then also, I do all the weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Capricorn. Uh, so if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not Capricorn, I would really appreciate it if you were to um, send my videos to them, Capricorn, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, I love you so much, Capricorn.